Okay, this really is congratulations because now you're at the end of day four. You are officially halfway through this course. Congratulations. That's an awesome, awesome accomplishment, and you deserve all the kudos you can get. I'm just going to say, and the reason why I paused here about on this preparation for coming days stuff, I know I talked about this in the introduction, uh, introductory comments for today, but I want to focus on this for our uh, final thoughts and our transition into the next half of the class. So you're obviously going to take some time with your family or friends at some point tomorrow so that you make sure that you have that connection and your brain is, is rejuvenating. But more important than that, I want to talk to you about spending some time looking at what the final draft proposal looks like. And I want to just show you, if you haven't uh, already done this yourself, what exactly you're doing over the next uh, four days after our break day. So um, I've just gone to the uh, fifth day of class. I'm just going to scroll down to the application activities. You're going to start writing a lot more. Um, and you're going to start writing some substantial sections of your final assignment um, in each of the days leading up to it. So for example, on day five, which is the day after our, our break, um, you are going to write finalized proposal sections on organizational background and qualifications and an evaluation plan. All right, keep that in mind. That'll be day five. And then on day six, scrolling, uh, you're going to be writing a budget, budget justification, and a financial sustainability plan. Okay, so that's five sections in two days that you're going to be writing on day seven Let's scroll down again I'm not doing this to panic you i'm doing this to let you know uh, we're not fooling around at this point day seven you've got an executive summary and a letter of inquiry which is uh, something you'll learn about and you're being asked to complete your entire funding proposal by assembling all the parts of the proposal from the previous day's assignments into one document. That's on day seven, right? So by day seven, you're not only uh, you know writing all these different sections. Uh, you'll have what is it five, and then you'll have two more uh, things. So that you're up to uh, seven sections, seven additional sections for your funding proposal. But you also are going to be trying to put this all together in a way that makes sense. You're going to use the elements of proposals to government funders or to foundations and corporations, depending on sort of which way you're leaning, what's the most appropriate for you. And then you're going to email your complete draft to me by the end of the day for peer review. Now, I want, to, I want you to keep in mind that means that you have, you have a complete draft of your proposal by in this case, July 23rd, or day 7 of this class. And then your final assignment is to finalize it and submit it by the end of the month. Um, so you have a little bit of time to provide feedback to each other and, to, and then to um, you know, finalize your proposal. Oh, and you have to write a cultivation and stewardship plan. I mean, uh, there are a couple things that you have coming up. So, so brace yourselves. Uh, and, and when I said in uh, the comments for day four at the end, I'm just going to go back there about sort of getting a little bit ahead. Um, you definitely want to spend some time with your family and friends. You definitely want to get some sleep if you haven't been, uh, if you've been working on this too much. But I just want you to, to know that it's coming. Uh, that, that winter is coming. No, uh, that there is a, a lot that you could be preparing for. And while I'm not asking you to panic about any of it, I think you guys are fully qualified and absolutely capable of doing this. I just don't want it to sneak up on you. And I do want to emphasize that the second half of this class, uh, it really gets serious. So take that into consideration. Um, enjoy the, the break. Uh, time that you have in between uh, the sort of the first half and the second half of the class but do prepare yourself as much as possible mentally if nothing else or by getting as much sleep as you can so that so that you're ready to go uh, at the beginning of the next section all right see you soon